All right, Halos, welcome back. We are jumping back into the uh, predictions and kind of reactions to the Swiss stage. Uh, the final day of Swiss finally happened, so we have quarterfinals up next. We'll definitely get the predictions in there uh, after we see this draw show. But um, yeah, the, uh, we're going to go ahead and quickly, super fast recap kind of what happened before. So uh, let's see, BLG and G2 fought, and um, it was... BLG ended up winning, of course, and it is sad to see G2 go. Um, that did end up happening. Of course, spoilers, I guess, already. I should have said ahead of time, but if you were watching this, you should already know what's been happening. But anyways, uh, <laughs> yeah, it was sad to see G2 go for sure. Uh, they did put up a decent fight, but BLG was just the better team overall. Um, still, BLG is, is not looking like as top dog as we kind of thought they were going to be, so that's something interesting to note. And then... Um, DK versus uh, Weibo actually ended up happening as well, and I predicted uh, DK to win because I thought they were looking a little better, and Weibo had been kind of not looking quite as good in my opinion so far this uh, little Swiss stage at, at, at Worlds today or like this year. Um, so yeah, that's what I thought, and it ended up being um, Weibo actually taking the series. So Weibo advances and DK did not advance, so I got that one wrong, of course. I got the BLG one right. Um, and then uh, I guessed Fly would win over TL, and um, ended up uh, that Fly obviously did win in the end. But it was uh, was pretty good, pretty good fight from uh, from TL though. Not hard, just not uh, I don't know, just uh, it's kind of sad to see TL go for sure. We, we obviously hoped that um, we could get get both teams out if we could, but you know it's it's definitely a long shot. But at least we this means we got guaranteed one out. So the the only team from the entire West, from North America, uh, or Europe, is going to be FlyQuest making it to the quarterfinals, which is really cool. Um, of course, it's going to be really hard for them to advance from there, but uh, hey, we can Hopium for sure. I, I don't think it's going to happen, but we'll Hopium. Let's see what draw we get. Let's jump straight into draw, uh, the draw show. So yeah, let's jump into it real quick. For our knockout stage. And welcome everyone to the World's 2024 Knockout Stage Draw Show. I'm Laure, and with the Swiss stage over, Weibo Gaming, BLG, and FlyQuest are the three teams advancing to the Knockout Stage in Paris. And with me today, we have Malou from Riot Games, tournament official, to help with the draw. Malou, what happened yesterday? Yeah, like the rest of Europe, I guess. But anyway, all eight quarterfinalists are set and they have been divided based on their results in the Swiss stage. So the first pillar here consists of teams that went 3 and 0. Oh. The second pillar consists of teams with a 3 and 2 record. And the final one has the team that has finished with a score of 3 and 1. The matchups in the knockout stage will be based on random draw depending on each team's record. Two of the three O teams will be drawn onto the opposite sides of the bracket where they will be matched with three two teams. And the remaining three two team will be randomized with the three one teams. And those four teams will be drawn from a single group to complete the rest of the brackets. Our three O teams are LNG and Genji. Now, Malu, would you please draw the first team? All right, now the second team, please. And it is Genji. All right. We'll go to the opposite side of the bracket, who will be from our three and two teams, Weibo Gaming, BLG, and FlyQuest. Now, Malu, you can proceed with the first team. Weibo Gaming. And they will play LNG. Now Malu for the second team. Ooh, Weibo versus LNG, okay. I do think LNG have been a lot better. <laughs> We're gonna reset for this one. And we will continue shortly, don't worry. <laughs> so scuffed, it's okay. Are we good? All right, Malu. 
We can draw an opponent for Genji now. But yeah, I do think LNG are favored in that matchup. Um, we'll see though. Weibo could come out crazy like they did versus DK. Fly, fly quest. quest. Oh no. So fly quest versus Genji then, or what? And they will face the okay, already drawn three O team Genji. Oh no. That the first two matchups have been decided. Nick will combine the last three two team with the remaining three one team into a single group. Here are the remaining quarterfinalists, TE8, HLE, T1, and now BLG. Top esports. Alright, Malu, we can start. Okay, the I don't know why she said TE8, that's matchup. okay then. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Alright, Hanwha. Like Hanwha. And they will be facing... LG. Ooh, wow, that's a banger. <laughs> so far, I mean, I think Kongwa is just looking better, though. Like, I would have said BLG, is. but they, uh, BLG has not been looking that great this tournament. We'll see, though. I'll go ahead and think about it a little bit more, and we'll finalize our, our thoughts after the draw show. Top esports, e and then, of course, they're going to head on to P, uh, T1. So, yeah. Um, I don't know. T1's on an upward, upward trend. But Toppy Twist has always been playing Russia's really good. Stage, but we'll be back on October okay, guys. Um, <laughs> I do think LNG is going to beat Weibo. Uh, I don't know how hard. I'm going to say it's either a 3 0 or a 3 1. We'll see, though. They, if Weibo could beat them. I just honestly didn't think it could happen there. Um, but I'm going to say LNG is going to beat them. Let's just say that for now. Uh, and then Hanwha versus BLG. I think Hanwha is going to take the series. But BLG could definitely take the series. Like, they are no joke. They, they're definitely really good as well. Um, so, yeah, hard to say for sure. But, okay. Um, <clears throat> Hanwha... I think Hanwha will beat BLG maybe a 3-2. I'm not sure, actually, to be honest. It's going to be a pretty tough one. That could go either way. Honestly, both of these could go either way. Um, but they should. those left side teams should be favored against the right side there. And then Top Esports versus T1. Um, I always bet against T1, and I want to bet against them again because Top Esports have been looking really good here. But uh, I'm going to say T1 again, you know, because, like, how do you bet against them? That's crazy. So, yeah, um, it's going to be weird. Definitely going to be weird, but we'll get it. We'll get it for sure. Sorry, this was confusing me for a second because um, the, the British or Europeans or whatever do it. Um, they do the, the day and then the month. So it's, it's November 2nd is going to be the final, but it looks like it's February 11th for us. Anyways, um, yeah. Um, so that's what I think. I think T1 will beat Top Esports, although I think Top Esports would definitely take this series. Uh, I have no idea what the game score is going to be there. Maybe a 3-2. Maybe a 3-2. Um, and then Genji versus Fly. Obviously, Genji are very heavy favorites, and I don't think Fly are that good, to be honest. I also think Genji are, are really, really good. Um, they are the MSI... MSI champions and stuff, so yeah. And then... Genji versus yeah, I think Genji will defeat Fly. Sorry, I got distracted for a second. I think Genji will defeat Fly probably either a three zero or three one. Maybe Fly can take a game off of them. It's hard to say. They took a game off of Hanwha, which is the first seed. Genji's the second seed there. Hard to say. Um, but yeah, we're gonna we can hope yeah, that Fly will make it out. But I'm not gonna bet on it. Um, for now, that's gonna be it for that. I do want to go into Pickums real quick though because. Uh, the Swiss stage pickums have been completed, and uh, I picked one team to finish Swiss undefeated. That was Gen G, and they did end up being undefeated there, so that was really good. Um, correct pick, plus 20 points. And then after that, we have eight teams uh, to advance, and let's see. Uh, Gen G was correct, Hanwa was correct, BLG was correct, TIES was correct, LNG was correct, Weibo was correct, TL was not correct. I should have picked Fly. Um, but I, I wasn't sure to be honest. TL looked, felt like they were going to be a little bit more consistent, but they did not have a great showing here. Though they were one game away, they were pretty close. Um, and then T1 ended up being the final 
uh, final pick there. But yeah, we do have to choose our quarterfinals pickums here. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, so what I was saying, I think LNG will take it versus Weibo. Um, it doesn't look like it'll tell me how many people picked that yet, but that's fine. Uh, and then I think Han was going to defeat Billy Billy, but uh, that could either go either way as well. All these could honestly go either way, except probably the FlyQuest one. Don't think that FlyQuest will beat Gen G, but hey, we can we can hope. Um, and then I think T1's going to defeat Top Esports, though. Uh, Top could definitely defeat T1. T1's been looking pretty weak all year from what I've heard. Um, so that could definitely happen. And then um, Genji, I think, will defeat FlyQuest, of course. So that's going to be my pickums as well for the quarterfinals, as well as the recap on the Swiss stage. Thank you guys for watching. It's been really fun, and we'll catch you guys in after these um, quarterfinals are done. I might do a specific um, like recap on the series for FlyQuest, since it's a North American team. Um, but the rest of them, I'm probably not going to have time to do a recap on all of them. Although it would be nice. Um, and then, obviously, um, looks like that is going to be the last match as well. So we probably do a recap on that and then jump into our semifinals uh, predictions as well as the reactions for the, the quarterfinals. But yeah, thank you guys for watching once again and catch you there. Peace.